particular application. Because I think that the recipe for every utility will be slightly different. You're going to have a lot, you're going to have many common ingredients, but you're going to build a recipe that ma matches your particular needs. So I think you use WiMAX in the smart grid because you're looking for versatility, you're looking for carrier grade performance and reliability. You've got the ability to support multiple applications over the technology. It is a standards-based approach, not necessarily a standards-compliant approach that's necessary. You can get the range. Uh, in Ontario, we're doing 28-kilometer links for Hydro One to get out to various substations. Typically, we put three to four substations on a base station. That's about how much traffic a base station can support for the traffic load coming from each substation. Uh, there's a bunch of different applications for residential, business, generation, mobile assets, emergency. That, that chart and document is in a white paper you can download on Redline's website. If you go to the landing page for energy and utilities, there's a white, white paper request there. You can download a white paper that we wrote based upon the lessons from the City of Toronto and from Hydro One and from a co-op SCI Remac uh, co-op based in the, uh, in the Midwest here in the U.S. Okay, so uh, John's uh, going to give me the hook at this stage, so you missed the red line commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.